What's up guys, welcome back, Ibarra from My Hero Academia, the Vine Lady. So, this is a Patreon request from Emmanuel over on Patreon. Let's go. Landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause. If I go too fast, center point of my page about here. Just come up a little bit. The eyes are just above the halfway line, okay? So we go diagonal first. Diagonal like so. And then we just bring it across. And it kind of spikes up at the end. Now, the end of her eyes will be like underneath her hair, okay? So we'll erase them. So then we go down diagonally that way and then just back across here so then we want to like thicken up her top eyelid line right so you want to like there's a little extra spike here and then it just gets darker kind of heavier sort of line just coming across here and then a little bit heavier down here as well Okay, and then we have eyelashes just coming down from her bottom eyelid line. So just these sort of spikes like that. And then her eye, kind of a skinny sort of half circle like this. And then I think they're black, so we'll color them in. If you want, you can leave a, a, like a shine or add it with white paint if you want. So top eyelid line then. Let's go just up and across like that. Her eyebrow is just a very skinny sort of line that curves up and over like so. And it kind of stops there. Most of it again under hair. So her other eye, just over here, you're about, I'd say like half an eye width or three quarters of an eye width can fit in between. So like say from here to like just the other side of her iris is about how much distance you go over. Maybe just like three quarters of the eye, not the full eye, because they're bigger in My Hero Academia than standard normal eyes. So we're out of proportion a little bit. Okay, and once you get that distance, we go across. And again, it kind of spikes up in the end. And then comes down. And then across. And then we can just thicken it up, add that little spike. And then thicken up this top eyelid line. Just making it darker. Okay, and eyelashes just down here. Two, and the third one, just there. And then her long sort of iris line, just color it in black. Right, and then her eyelid line. And then her eyebrow again. Like so. Do, do, do. Right, so then her nose, so we're coming down from the eyebrow, just a, a line like so, and you leave a little bit of a gap, and then we just have this sort of straight line going there. It might be like a bit of a shadow just on the corner on the side here, just make it a bit thicker. So she's got a, a pretty flat mouth, right? So it's like, comes down in the middle a little bit, but mostly just flat and like thick on the corners. Like so, she looks kind of not happy. Okay, so her chin, round chin, like that. 
And like roughly speaking, eyes, top eyelid to the bottom of the nose is about the same as bottom of the nose to the chin. So here and here are about the same. And then bottom of the nose to the bottom lip, about the same as bottom nose, bottom lip to the chin. So here to here, about the same as there to there. Then you can go for the jaw. Up the side, and then it goes underneath her hair. And you kind of turn about the level of the mouth. Going up this way, and then turn up here. So she's got these big spikes that go sort of behind her shoulder. So I guess what we do first. Yeah, we'll do hair first. So we've got... Crisscross sort of ones, right? So we've got this sort of um, a V sort of up here, right? Okay, and then we have these barbed sort of cross lines, right? They come like spiky across her head, and they kind of wrap around her head as well. You just add these sort of zigzags every now and then. Make them kind of spiky looking, and then we have another one that goes this way in behind that one. Okay, and then the hair will continue just sort of spiking every now and then down the side of her face right so underneath these and it'll cut off those parts of her eye which i will erase emmanuel always likes me to erase what i draw over right so we go we just add these spikes and it stops sort of there where her shoulder begins so there are all these thorns and stuff so top of her head, so we've got like, goes, comes up this way. And goes back down, spiking every now and then. And this goes down past her shoulder, nearly all the way. So see on this side. You're just adding these spikes every now and then. So same on both sides kind of thing, right? It's just down off the page like that. And we can see her body here and then details on the hair. So the neck is just coming down from the jaw like so. And then her collar. Just here. Then shoulders coming out like so. And then we just go like diagonal down that way. So then we can see just her UL kind of with the white U comes this way. And like some shoulder lines. Yeah, just some like stretch lines there. And there's a bit of a shadow underneath her chin. And then some hatching there. Okay, so then textures on the hair and then I'll erase all those lines. So, so you're just doing these zigzag thorny sections again. Uh, 
and they're all on on the top of her head as well you do these anyway they don't have to be exactly like mine like they don't have to be in the exact same position as mine once you just get like a spike or two on each one you can give the illusion that they're like all part of her hair and like vines and stuff and thorny and some up here like that right and then i'll just erase these lines Okay, that's it. Ibarra from My Hero Academia. I hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the request, Emmanuel. Anyone else with requests of characters that don't normally draw, head over to Patreon and I'll get right on it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.